morning, everyone. I want to thank uh, a few people who are here uh, with us this morning. I want to thank uh, former chief and the chair of the uh, Board of Fire Commissioners, uh, Chief Herman Williams, who has uh, been a friend and, and, and a mentor uh, to me, and I'm, I'm glad that you're here. I want to thank Rick Hoffman, president of Local 734. I want to thank Mike Campbell, president of Local 964. I want to thank uh, Mr. Hudgens and Mr. Pugh, who are here on behalf of Henry Burris and the Vulcan Blazers. Thank you both uh, for being here. And our other uh, union representatives, I want to thank you uh, for being here as well. Today I'm formally announcing my selection as doc uh, Dr. Niles Ford uh, to serve as Baltimore's next fire chief. I'm selecting Dr. Ford, and I believe that we have found a dedicated public servant. Uh, with a proven track record of results. He has spent the last 20 plus years working within fire departments in multiple capacities. And when he wasn't working, Dr. Ford continued to grow professionally, becoming an expert in public safety leadership and mentoring the next generation of firefighters as an instructor. His career has been spent driving the type of organizational change that I believe is necessary to continue the positive reforms that we've seen in Baltimore and to meet the challenges that we face in the future. Dr. Ford has demonstrated a strong ability to effectively manage organizations through periods of change, leaving them on a much sounder footing as a result of his leadership. I was most impressed by his record of accomplishment of, as fire chief in Lincoln, Nebraska, where he was successful in driving his command staff towards making the hard choices necessary to provide efficient city services. He has a strong track record of good fiscal stewardship, including turning around the Lincoln Ambulance Service, which had operated in the red for several years prior to his appointment as chief. Dr. Ford was also a leader in opening the door for women and minorities in Lincoln, promoting the first female battalion chief in their history and supporting her eventual, eventual presidency of the International Association of Women in Fire and Emergency Services. He personally recruited African Americans, Asians, Latinos, and female firefighter applicants to ensure all Lincoln citizens were receiving an equal opportunity to serve. Dr. Ford also has a track record of leading with integrity, as is shown that he is not afraid to speak truth to power. Despite potential professional cost to himself, Dr. Ford has shown a great courage in reminding all of us in public service that our first obligation is to our citizens. And we must show, that our, must show that with our actions each and every day. When that hasn't been the case, Dr. Ford has spoken up, and I welcome that type of leadership and candor in my, in my administration. We have many positive de developments to celebrate thanks to the hard work of the Baltimore City Fire Department. I think we have one of the best fire departments in the world. And I want to take the opportunity to thank them for their efforts in making Baltimore a safer city. Positive developments include a new, tr a new uh, contract that increases pay for its members, implementing a new schedule for suppression units, and guarantees no layoffs. We've seen a reduction on, in on-the-job injuries, and we've instituted reforms for a more reliable scheduling that have put more units on the streets and improved services. As a part of the 10-year financial plan my administration is implementing, we have changed the process to procure new vehicles for all city agencies, including uh, equipment to the fire department. This year, the fire department has already purchased dozens of new medics, engines, and uh, medics, uh, engines, as well as trucks. And we will be able to purchase more in the coming years. We're also in the process of implementing a new plan to put more medic units on the street to more efficiently serve our citizens. Challenges remain in the department, including combating the spike in recent fire deaths, which remains a top priority for this administration. Dr. Ford is no stranger to challenges, both personally and professionally. He has done so with integrity, dedication, and a determination necessary to keep our fire department moving forward. And I'm honored to welcome him to Baltimore, Dr. Ford. <coughs> I'd first like to thank the mayor. Thank you very much, Madam Mayor, for this opportunity um, to serve this great community. I'd also like to thank the citizens of Baltimore for this opportunity. Um, it, I, I'm, I'm truly humbled about uh, having this opportunity to serve. I, I have long had strong appreciation for this organization in this great city, the history that it has throughout 
Revolutionary War through, through today. I also have a, have a history that, um, that, that Chief Herman Williams doesn't know. I basically <laughs> selected him as an informal mentor of mine. Um, my first experience with Baltimore was when I was a captain at, in Bessemer, Alabama, when I bought the book Firefighter and read it from cover to cover. Uh, realized I had a, a lot of things in common with uh, Chief Williams. Uh, we both were bass players. <laughs> but also, I, I read through all the history and challenges he had, and it, it really motivated me to move forward and, and to try to grow. Um, to now have the opportunity to serve as fire chief is a responsibility I take very, very seriously. I pledge to use every ounce of my experience from, from the past 20 years of, of my life, not just in the department, not just dealing with public safety, but also dealing with academia. As, as um, has, has been reported, I am certainly no stranger to overcoming challenges, both professionally and personally. Uh, since my birth, and I spoke about this earlier, um, I, I am, I've been born with a disability. They call it an invisible disability. My lower leg, I don't have a foot, and I have an underdeveloped uh, leg, but I had the opportunity. Um, fire chiefs and firefighters in Bessemer gave me an opportunity to make it in their system and work, and I went through all the processes just like everyone else. So I, I am very thankful. I am very grateful. I'm extremely humbled by this opportunity, and again, I'd like to thank you, Madam Mayor, for giving me this opportunity to stand here. And also, Chief Williams, thank you for writing that awesome book about your life. All right, with that, we'll open it up for a few questions. Mm -hmm. I think his uh, years of experience, his uh, leadership, uh, his experience not just in uh, firefighting and in leadership in firefighting, but there's a couple of things that really impressed me. One, the, in the places where he has led, he's led through change. He's uh, been successful in diversifying uh, a department, which has been a persistent problem that we've faced in Baltimore. He also has experience as a city manager and in a city that is uh, trying to grow out of the, the Great Recession. Having that fiscal stewardship was very, very important uh, to me, uh, he understands organizational change, and as we're going into the new contract, as well as uh, working to in create more efficiency around the way that we deal with EMS calls, I think that his organizational leadership and change management skills uh, will uh, fit right in and help us uh, in this next chapter for the Baltimore City Fire Department. I don't know how many applied totally. But I was pleased that there was, we, you know, Baltimore's blessed. We had excellent internal uh, candidates to choose from, as well as, um, you know, and with this position and others, um, I'm finding that there is a lot of interest in uh, working in Baltimore uh, right now from uh, great people all over the country. Support, um, could you, uh, you mentioned earlier with the book yesterday about. Your, your first job was a marching band director, yes. and how that, um, I, and, and how that, even before you got into firefighting, how that, um, I guess, influenced your leadership style. I, I, uh, early in another life, I was a high school, middle school band director in Birmingham, Alabama. And I, one of the things I believe is that as you go through life, everything you do, you should take as an experience to grow into something else. Um, I learned a lot from being a band director. I was a band director in the city schools, and one of the things, well, several things I learned, I learned how to uh, put the right people in the right place so they can be successful. Put the right people in the right place so the organization can be successful. I learned how to put teams together. Um, even at one time I wrote music for uh, several historically black colleges in the southeast. And so I did a lot of orchestrating. What was very important in orchestrating is making sure that I'd contact and find out what their strengths and weaknesses were, and I'd orchestrate based upon that. Well, you do the same thing as you develop teams. You try to make sure that you put people on a stage where they can shine and they have an opportunity to be successful, but also give them an opportunity to continuously grow. Um, I, have, I, I feel like I've been reasonably successful in my career. 
And I have to readily admit the reason why I've done it is because I had people around me who thrived to excellence, who wanted to do great things. And quite frankly, I gave them an opportunity to dream. And, and that's, that's what I've carried on through my career. And there's several things I've done throughout my career that have nothing to do with fire service that I, that I brought into this idiom because it was important on development or organizational development. Well, what, in, in, in very broad terms, one of the things I'd like for us to do is continue the excellence that, that has been started by the previous chiefs. And um, to get in to make sure that we're second to none in everything we do, to try to use um, one of the things that, um, that the mayor has in her Change to Grow program, the 10-year program, is she wants us to use technology to the full, fullest to make sure we're running as effectively and efficiently as possible. So I want to make sure that not just today, but continuously we look out there and monitor and see what we can do to do what we do better and more effectively and more efficiently. Can you do one more? Uh, so sir, Lincoln, Nebraska being a smaller area than Baltimore, do yes. you see similar challenges that will help translate to this department? Well, um, certainly the mayor spoke about the diversity concerns and, and one of the things I learned about um, attracting a diverse pool is you have to actively do it. Um, so I plan on trying to do some of the same things I did in Lincoln, Nebraska. I'm, I'm very, uh, once I get an opportunity to put my arms around the organization and I know where all the moving parts are, um, you will see me out in the community in a very aggressive way because I think that's, that's how you have an opportunity not just to develop relationships with the community but have an opportunity for people who dream and aspire to do things who have never looked at the fire service as an opportunity, they will. And we can get the best and brightest out of the city of Baltimore.